Hey guys, Sponge Murphy here. So over the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be looking at models or units from the new Age of Sigmar starter box set. And I'm going to be talking about them, comparing sizes to other models, and just having a look at the models in general. So this week, I have the Lord Relictor from the Stormcast Eternals. Now this guy is a whole lot of detail. Um, he's basically like a standard bear type of guy. You know, he has this big creepy tomb looking banner with the skeleton and the sword and um, his armor is full of detail he has lots of stuff kind of going on here he has the hammer with Sigmar insignia and everything and there's the train going by and um, he has a lot of these kind of prayer scrolls cup falling out of him uh, it looks almost looks like a robe but it's just like all these kind of prayer scrolls I think they're called and um, the detail on his armor is incredible look at the detail here on the on the iron part, this little skeleton arm in it. Um, actually, I never checked this on the other side. Yes, it is. So that's pretty awesome. And one of the coolest parts about him as well, his head is a skull. Now, I don't know if it's meant to be a skull mask or if it is just a skull. I'm not sure. But I think from the back of her hair, it looks like it's just like a skull mask. But, um... Whatever it is, it's pretty awesome looking. We'll have a better look at this banner as well. It's like a tomb for a skeleton with like a like a sword. You have all these little scrolls. Head or a skull with a scroll on the candles on the top and everything. This really is a really cool model. Um full of detail. Um you know, it looks like it has a lot of stuff, but a lot of it... Oh, there's the back of the banner. A lot of stuff is, like, a lot of the same colour as well. You see all the scrolls and everything in the back of it, so it's pretty cool. Um, you know, it looks like it could be a little bit intimidating if you're wanting to paint it, but... You know, if you have a closer look at it, it looks like it could be kind of just a little bit more straightforward than you think. And um, putting it together, it went together pretty easy. Pretty straightforward as far as I can tell. The only kind of tricky part was the back of it. You see these kind of scrolls sticking out along. They're all, I think, this part here was one piece and it just sticks onto the back. Um, and this part here was a little bit tricky putting in because you had to hold it for a while. Just let it just glue in and the hole just under the shoulder pad there. That was the only kind of tricky part. Other than that, it was just pretty straightforward. It was nice enough. And... Um, so yeah, so comparing them to sizes, he's you know it's pretty much the same size as a, a Stormcast Eternal. He's massive compared to the little guy. Um, the Space Marine kind of fills it out a little bit more. He looks a little bit bigger, but he still kind of towers over them. Uh, I have this guy out, so let's look at him. Compared to the Corn uh, Blood Reaver, um, he's a lot more bulkier for definite. Um, but then again, the Blood Reaver has like basically hardly any armor at all. So um, he's not as tall as the Lord Relictor. But uh, he's definitely almost up to the same height. Terminator. So from this angle, he's definitely either just under the, the same height as him or just, just a, there enough along the same height as him. Um, now you put him kind of back to back. I think the Stormcast guy just is a slightly little bit taller. Um, the Ogre. The Ogre is a pretty cool comparison size. The Ogre is obviously a little bit taller and a bit more bulkier. Um, but I think it's just maybe just more the Relictor being more kitted out and wider with stuff. That kind of makes him look a little bit more bulkier. Um, and at last, against the Demon Prince. He doesn't, he's nowhere near as big as the Demon Prince. But for the type of guy he is... It looks like a perfect match for a, a duel here. If we can zoom out and have another look at it. It looks like a cool battle could be going on there. So uh, that's it for the Relictor. If you're wanting um, a model with detail and a lot of work that's going to be put into it. This is definitely your guy. Um, he has loads of stuff going on. Very busy looking model. The pose is nice. You know he is standing on a bit of rock on the bottom. So you know it's pretty cool that way. So that's it. 
make sure to leave a comment below hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't and um, your opinion is always greatly appreciated so as usual thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next up next update